This is a short lecture on potentials. So from the physical idea of potential energy, we outline another way to actually visualize the dynamics of x dot is equal to f of x. So you imagine a particle sliding down the walls of a potential well where the potential v of x is defined by f of x is equal to minus dv dx. A potential well is the region that is surrounding a local minimum of potential energy. So let's make a simple minded plot of v of x versus x. That's your potential well. We highlight the particle and the direction in which it's moving. So you imagine the particle actually moving through the walls of the potential. The negative sign in the definition of V actually comes from physics. Essentially what this shows is that the particle always moves downwards. Let's go ahead and develop some intuition for ourselves. Let x be a function of t and let's calculate the time derivative of v as a function of x of t. So invoking the good old chain rule from calculus yields dv dt is equal to dv dx times dx dt. So now x dot is equal to f of x which is equal to minus dv dx and that is simply by the definition of the potential. Thus dv dt is equal to minus dv dx whole squared which would be less than or equal to zero. So v sub t decreases along the trajectories and that's worth highlighting. And thus the particle moves towards a lower potential. Now if the particle is at an equilibrium, then dv dx is equal to zero and so v is simply a constant. Now note that the local minima of v of x gives us stable fixed points and the local maxima of v of x gives us unstable fixed points. Let's consider an example. Graph the potential for x dot is equal to minus x and identify all of the equilibrium points. So we need to find v of x such that minus dv dx is equal to minus x. This gives us v of x is equal to a half x squared plus c1 where c1 is just an arbitrary constant. So for now we let c1 be 0. Now let's plot v of x versus x. This plot of v of x versus x is a rather simple minded curve which we can easily do by hand and there you go that's what the curve looks like. The only equilibrium point occurs at x is equal to 0 and it is stable. The analytical solution for x dot is equal to minus x is just x is equal to c1 e to the minus t where c1 is a constant. Let's consider another example. Graph the potential for the system x dot is equal to x minus x cubed and identify all equilibrium points. So we set minus dv dx is equal to x minus x cubed and solving this we get v is equal to minus a half x squared plus a fourth x to the 4 plus c1. So we let c1 is equal to 0. 
Now let's make the plot of v of x versus x. So plot of v of x versus x is a little bit more involved. Highlight the local minima plus 1 and minus 1. So the local minima is at x is equal to plus minus 1 which implies stable equilibrium and the local maxima is at x is equal to 0 which implies unstable equilibrium. The system is bistable as it has two stable equilibria. So here's an exercise. Can you find an analytical solution to x dot is equal to x minus x cubed? So let's consider another exercise. Let x dot is equal to f of x be a vector field on the line and use the existence of a potential function v of x to show that the solutions actually cannot oscillate. So this second exercise is actually closely related to the lecture where we talked about the impossibility of oscillations of x dot is equal to f of x. But here what I am saying is that can you use the existence of a potential function v of x to actually show that the solutions of x dot is equal to f of x cannot oscillate. Now this was a, a very short lecture. The intent of the lecture was to introduce you to the notion of potentials and to highlight their ability to analyze equations of the form x dot is equal to f of x. Now you look at the definition of a potential. So let's assume you have a potential function v of x which is defined as f of x is equal to minus dv dx. Then evaluating that relationship allowed us to say something about the original nonlinear system x dot is equal to f of x. We offered one or two examples, but we left you with an interesting exercise that I suggest that you actually try, which was roughly as follows. Now, can we actually use the notion of a potential as applied to an equation of the form x dot is equal to f of x and prove using this notion that the solutions of x dot is equal to f of x will actually not oscillate. Yeah? They will actually not oscillate. This is something that we had talked about earlier in the lectures in terms of impossibility of oscillations, but now can you use this notion of potential to make exactly the same point again?